Hi, and welcome back to Studio Tamara, the Mystical Painters. Today, once again, we are headed to Kensington Metro Park for plein air painting. Plein air painting, plein air painting, plein air painting. List how many animals you see in the comments below and you may win a prize. Hi, baby. Hello, Sand Hill Crane family. Hi, baby. Hi, babies. Hello. Here comes my friends. Watch this. Now we'll get Come here. Come here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Alright, I got this. You don't want that. How about this? Want some more? You like sunflower seeds? Yep. Here is my little drawings. I'm trying to decide if I want to go vertical or horizontal. Miner said you won't need a shade, buddy. You'll be in the shade in the woods. So much for that theory. Always bring your shade, buddy. I know this. Look, Heiner. Look what we got up here. So I'm trying to just use a big brush, 12, and just using green and just kind of looking at where is this road going. We have a bunch of trees in here. I might just paint this very quickly. I'm not sure even that I... So I'm hoping this turns out. So you're going to put your lightest lights in first. And we're going to definitely keep... We're going to push the lights way, way, way back. And we're going to do this nice and thin. Mix some cad yellow light and white. And we're going to just kind of suggest something very different. And I'm not liking this very much right now. But all paintings do go through the uglies. So we'll see what happens as we go through this. Maybe I'll like it more. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just start another one. I've been known to do that too. But... So we're just going to put some darker values in here and I'm using really big brushes today and this is intentional. Using big brushes makes you isolate shapes and values and um, it's a really good practice to use big brushes. So the closer we are, the darker it's going to be. Shouldn't have listened to Heiner. I should have brought my shade buddy. Oh well. I mixed a little um, burnt sienna with violet gray to get this kind of path color. Hard to see with the sun on the board. I hear chippies, but I haven't seen them yet, so that's interesting as well. Hold the brush at the very tip and just load it with some brown, blue, whatever you want to put in. And then you just kind of suggest things. So this is an excellent example for any of you who have ever done a wipeout. I almost never ever do these, but I am going to do what's called a wipeout. Wipeout means you take your turp and you wipe it out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, feels good. I never do this, but 
There it is. All gone. Wiped out. If you do that, it's okay. You still had fun. You still went out painting. It was still a great day. Now you have a nice earth tone board to paint something else. So that's a wipeout. No, wipeouts are not on purpose. But they happen to everyone. Then I saw this. Already, I'm having more fun doing this one. I'm liking how this is looking. It's just a fun, fast... Hi, little baby Robin. Little baby Robin. To make a light lighter, I need to put dark next to it. So if you want this lighter or darker, I think I want to call this one the language of trees. I'm really enjoying this one. A lot of people might think I looked rushed when I did this, but I love it. I love the fresh brush strokes. I'm going to call it the language of trees. You can paint. Planar painting, you can do.